Hello again, welcome back. Double unboxing. Just delivered two minutes ago. Something not too common. Common, common, common me. Not beer, but alcohol related. Tam Navulan. A Speyside whiskey. Oh yeah. Double cask. Which means I mature it in one cask and then mature it in a second cask. I think. I'm not sure about that. Tam the villain. The Mill on the Hill. Speyside single malt Scotch whiskey. Double cask. Matured in American oak barrels. With a sherry cask finish, there we go. 70 centiliters, it's 40% ABV. Distilled, matured and bottled in Scotland. Set in the banks are the Corrie Stream and the River Livet. We heard the Glen Livet. We draw our water from underground springs in the Easterton Hills, formed by snow melt from the surrounding mountains. This water is naturally filtered through ancient limestone rock. Will we open the box or take the money? Let's see. I'm sure you're in. Dying to see what it's like. Oh, my goodness gracious me. How beautiful is a honey coloured amber? I was going to say ochre. The second box. What could this be? I have no idea. Rather than unrolling it. Ardbeg. This is an Isla whiskey. So this is a peaty, smoky whiskey, whereas this isn't, I don't think. Yeah, it's rich, smooth, mellow. This one, Ardbeg, the ultimate Isla single malt scotch whiskey. It's a 10 year old, non-chilled filtered. Sea spray, tarry rope, immense, smoky intensity. Not everyone's cup of tea. Ardbeg Distillery Limited. Isle, Isle of Isla, Argyle, Scotland. So, Ardbeg is revered around the world as the peatiest, smokiest, most complex whisky of all. It does not flaunt the peat, rather the peat gives way to the malt. The natural, natural sweetness subtly intrudes for perfect balance. Let's have a wee look at this. Box is very similar. Can I get that in? Same as I've just read, actually. Yeah. I have to try it, I don't know. That would be criminal not to. Now, qualifier. I'm not the biggest whiskey drinker. Someone, Susan, recommended this. Well, she says it was her favourite whisky. So I thought to myself, after trying the Highland Park, she was between, I want to give you a free toy. 
for simpletons. Along with the Highland Park, which I had the other day, says this was uh, our favourite whisky, that and Ardbeg. So I thought I'll try it. So check that channel out, Rhubarb and Cod. Some very fancy grub. I'm doing a disservice by calling it that. But... What did they say? Tarry rope? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm just going to have a wee nip of this. An, an English measure. Look how pale that is. I'm going to shine the light on that. That is very pale. Wow. Oh, it smells beautiful. It's like it is. It's very peaty, very smoky. With the spices in there, it's very complex. It's vanilla for sure. Lapsang Souchong tea. That's the same kind of smokiness. Son Chivar. I never know if I'm saying that right. I don't speak garlic. Slancha. Cheers. Beautiful. You know, there's a sweetness there as well. Like an almost, almost fruity sweetness, honey sweetness. You're getting the peat and the smoke in spades. The tarry rope. That just develops as well. smooth. There's no there's no burn. Okay, it doesn't make you want to cough. This is a sipping whiskey. I wouldn't have this with anything. I wouldn't put a mix I wouldn't put water in it or I don't know what people put in their whiskey but I think some whiskies disclaimer I know nothing about whiskey. But I think some whiskies or better with a touch of water or a wee uh, mixer, ice, whatever. But this is gorgeous, just on its own. Oh, that's that is so good, and I'm not even a whiskey drinker. I am now. Oh, that is absolute beauty. Let's see what this one's like. I'll open it the proper way rather than... Although, didn't I lose the end there? Eat it. on the top there. Did the other one? Yeah it did. Missed that detail there. Huh? Now then I'm gonna rinse my mouth. I'm just thinking what's the best way to rinse your mouth? I'm not sure if 
Italian craft lager is the way to rinse your mouth, but let's have a wee nip of this. Look at the colour on that. Just a wee touch, a wee, wee English measure. First time I ever went to England and had a spit. I couldn't believe it just wet the bottom of the glass. Because in Scotland you got a... The standard measure in pubs was a fifth of a gel. There were some pubs and places, clubs, you got a quarter gel. England you got a sixth of a gel, which is... I don't know how many drops... I don't know how many melts, not a lot, I'll put that in. Anyway, let's uh, cleanse the palate. Tell you what, that's, that's lovely beer, that Romola. Have a look at the colour. That is some more. There's more colour to it. It's like a, a, a pale honey. It's lighter in the glass than it is in the bottle because there's hardly any in it. There's a slight greenish tinge to that. No, maybe I'm just because I'm looking through. It looks like olive oil. That's what I'm thinking. It looks like fruit fly. It looks absolutely divine. That's much sweeter. It is like honey and... Is it a, some kind of... It could be vanilla. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's maybe some kind of spice, but it probably is vanilla. I don't know what to look for in whiskey. Cheers, my dears. Oh man, that's bra. It's totally different. It's no none of that smokiness. You know, I don't think it's quite as smooth as the other one. It is smooth. It's half the price of the other one. There is that sweetness, that honey sweetness, that develops. You know, there is a nerthiness, there are peatiness. That honey sweetness is gorgeous. There's a wee bit more burn on the tongue. Where on the hard bag, there's not, no burn at all. I much prefer the hard bag. But this is very good. Don't get me wrong. That does develop as well. I've got another bottle of the, just a sherry cask, Tam Navoulin, on its way. Because we're on offer. <laughs> Pardon me. And of course I've got the Highland Park. I've got Jura there as well. I might review that, I don't know. Well, review. Taste it. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a whiskey reviewer. I'm not a beer reviewer, I know nothing about beer. Anyway, they are beautiful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. I'm away to lie down in a darkened room. Cheers, my dears.